What up, Caterpie crew? We just bought this insane collection. We paid $5,520. Paid up. Now we got to sell it and make sure that we maximize our dollars as efficiently as possible. That's the goal around here. We make videos about our business. We have a reselling business that's grown to be massive. Um, me, Sky Guy, and Alpal all work together. Alpal's been doing a lot of eBay. I do a lot of the Amazon and just kind of the top end of the business. Sky Guy does a lot of the editing. So when we get deals like this, we got to make sure we're maxing out, especially when paying up. So there's a lot of amazing games in here. Almost every single one of these is a bolo. The majority of them will be on the $100 games list, which is part of the Discord if you join. So make sure to check that out if you're not in it. Bomberman 2 NES. Crazy huge game here. So I want to talk about when you get games like this, where do you sell them? Which platform? What's the best way to process something like this? When I've got rare NES games, every single one of those is going to go to eBay. If they're more common ones, like a game like Mario 3 or Contra or Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, the popular games that still have value, those I'll sell on Amazon. I don't know if we hardly have any of those in this collection. Battletoads, Jubble Dragon, that's very rare. Definitely look out for that one, over $100 for sure. Now, when you say you sell popular games... That means just the cartridges, correct? Just the cartridges, not if they're complete in box. Anything complete in box, like this Star Trek, that's going to eBay for sure. I wouldn't sell something like that on Amazon, but if it's like a PS2 complete in box game, like a Xeno Saga, which we have a couple of here, that is a great Amazon game. That'll sell really well. It can be sold in very good condition because it's complete. So I got a feeling the majority of these PS2 games... PS3 game, PS4 game, DS games will probably all go to Amazon depending on their sales rank. I do have objective metrics for how I decide. It's kind of nerdy talk, but if you're into that, definitely consider joining the Discord. We talk about that kind of stuff all the time for reselling. Now, Rockin' Cats. Again, that's definitely an eBay one. We actually found one of these in Hobby Shop Ron, uh, the first yes. video we made with him. Now, that's an Atlas game. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, definitely Atlas is a, is a good maker to look for. A lot of their games are worth good money. I know we've got at least a couple other Atlas games of value in here. Um, here's one, Radiant Historia. Uh, we got that one in this collection. And because this one is in phenomenal condition, it might go to eBay. But I still got to kind of check what Amazon has to offer on that. So we'll put that in the check Amazon pile first. Ninja Gaiden 3, that's the most uncommon of, the, of those between 1, 2, and 3. So that one's probably going to be eBay. We do have a couple that I think are going to be Amazon. Hmm? So Mega Man 5, 6, and 1. Oh. These are very expensive, but they also have pretty high demand. So I think, and I have sold a Mega Man 5 on Amazon, a lot of times the buy box on Amazon, the, the item that when you add to cart, it adds it to your cart, can be much higher than eBay. Customers are, are willing to pay up for convenience, for easy returns, for knowing and having assurance that everything's going to be okay no matter what. I think sometimes people think that eBay might not take care of you like that, even though they really will. But a lot of customers just don't know that. Um, so those will probably go to Amazon. This one, Bible Buffet. What a unique game. Can we look this one up? With I... the manual. Gosh, is this original? Like, When was this made? I've never really seen this one. And it's got the manual. Look, look that up. Here. Yeah, let's check that out. Bible Buffet. So this is an example of like a... So why, why does the cartridge look like this? Well, it's unlicensed. That's that's the, the main reason. There are a lot of unlicensed carts for Nintendo. Looks like just the cartridge can be up to $100, often around $85. The manual, maybe $10, $20. Bucks. But I think, honestly, in near mint condition, we could ask $150 and probably get it. Plus the manual. <clears throat> so We have that, yep. So we might shoot for $150. Again, a lot of this stuff, we're going to be fine with kind of sitting on it, waiting. If you see anything that you want in our eBay store, you can always hit me up, um, you know, here, Instagram, check out caterpiecrew.com for all the places, and we'll get you a deal. Time of Lore. Times of Lore. I've never seen this one. Toho. Co I like looking at the company to see if it's, like, a known one. Oh, it, says, um, it says it's from the creators of Ultima. Which is like kind of the first widely known RPG. That's uh, oh. his first game, of Calabas. That's the computer game oh. that I sold for 3300 bucks. You mean the one of like five in existence? I found the sixth one. <laughs> I did. It's called the Calabas World of Doom for Apple II PC. That's nuts. We got that on video too, and I didn't even realize it when I found it. It took me some research. <laughs> 
Cool World. That one's gone up a bit. <clears throat> so definitely a unique one there. All these are unique. Faria. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but so far this is my eBay stack here. Made in Japan. Is this a, but it's not a Japanese cartridge. Nope, that's NTSC. Uh, Vice Project Doom. Like these are all games. If you see any of these in the wild, you got to pick them up if they're cheap. Mm. Toxic Crusaders. Toxic Crusaders. I remember when I had one of those sealed. I want to talk about that story. The, <laughs> the Terminator. You don't see that one very often, which is kind of random. Uh, Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. That's I think that's the best Indiana Jones game. This is uh, <clears throat> on Nintendo. As far as Alico. Goes. Alico. J Jailco. Nailed it. <laughs> and then Power Blade. Power Blade 2 is absolutely massive. The first one is still good. And Shatterhand. Those are ones that... You really got to know if you're uh, searching for NES games, so don't forget them. What the heck? So look for dudes and pit vipers. Almost all of these have the look, right? They just look interesting. Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck. So, so how, how much are how much are some of these ones? Oh, like you might have to put up screenshots. Sorry to make okay. you do work, but that's okay. That's a Taito game, and we've mentioned Taito look games. for Taito games because mm -hmm. almost every single one is good. Little Samson. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, Panic. Panic Restaurant, Panic Restaurant. Uh, Flintstones. Flintstones, uh, Surprise at Dinosaur yeah. Peak. Like, the biggest games are yeah. Taito, so... This one's... <clears throat> this one That one's is a little more common. Like, this one, I would guess, is probably, like, 50 to 70. Okay. The game still... values are changing so much, it's hard to keep up. I used to buy this from game stores for, like, 20 bucks and sell it for 35. Mm. Um, but I think it's worth more than that these days. <clears throat> That's cool. And then we've got... You know, we've got some... Uh, these are super minty copies. NES games. These ones, we're going to put up on eBay and ask super high price because near mint collectors I've discovered, especially on box games like this, they're going to pay way more than any comp you can see. I've gotten $1,000 for games where the highest one that I've ever seen them sell went for like five or 600 because the condition was so phenomenal. So if you ever have near mint games, price them to the moon. That's just something I've learned from experience. Because sometimes buyers <laughs> will get upset that you sold them. For yeah. a lower price like, and they'll man, message I would have paid you a thousand bucks. You sold it for six hundred. It's not like we're just doing that. It's just there are people. It's who just want what I've learned. A, a yeah. Premium. So if there's high end games and Alpal is listing them, those are the things that I say, man. If it's over a hundred, just let me price it. It's from from twenty years of selling. I just kind of have learned on certain things to price them higher or lower. Contra Force, the most valuable Contra game, not a good game. Bucky O'Hare, <laughs> good game, pretty valuable. Uh, I already have. Bucky here. I don't have Contra Force. I might keep it. I don't know. Hack Quarantine. Huge game. Over $300. Ooh, all the hacks. Do you have Hack 1 and 2? We have Outbreak here. We have... I think this is 2. 3. Yeah, this is three. 3. So do we have 1 and 2? I want to put them together. Uh, I don't, I don't Apparently, have the other ones, I don't think. If you have Dot Hack 1, 2, 3, and 4, they make... You put their spines together and it makes something. Yeah. So... It's uh, down here. getting to be one of the most expensive pictures to put together, so yeah. <laughs> quickly buy all four if you can. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Valkyrie Profile, this one's up to almost $400 now. That's crazy. Thousand Arms. <gasps> Atlas. Atlas. You gotta look for Atlas games. We got all the Garbage Pail Kids packs. Now, this is a question like, would you sell these individually, or would you separate them? <clears throat> There's 15 packs here. Is it 1 through 15? Oh, there's 16 packs here, because mm. it is 1 through 15. I think I think we'll keep them as a set. Yeah. And we paid $350. I'm thinking maybe as a set, we could, I don't know, I'll have to do some research. The first pack is probably worth about the 350 that we paid. So hopefully the other ones do pretty well as a lot. Sounds like the other <clears throat> ones might be worth like 10 a piece at most. Except for the so, second series, maybe yeah. more like 50. So now say you took out like <clears throat> four or five of the ones in the middle. Would you then consider doing them um, separate, or would you still do Yeah, if I didn't have a complete run, I would certainly do separate, I think. Okay. Well, I am starting to value a little bit more the time save of putting things in a lot versus separating them. In some cases, it makes sense just to lot it up, take a little bit less than you would get if you had to take the time to separate each and every one. You have to consider how much inventory you have and what your time is worth when listing since we have so much inventory right now, I'm blessed and thankful for it. But we do have to change the strategy that we list a little bit. We got to crank out listings that have a high average sales price and that get stuff moving as quickly as possible. We can't like nickel and dime every Star Wars figure or every 
whatever it is. Because we, we, we have 15 listings per day. Yep. And sometimes that's like, that seems like it's not enough. Like that's our <clears throat> yeah. top and bottom. Yeah. Like we have to get 15 good listings. And I'm, I'm trying to get an average sales price on eBay of like $90 this year, which is a serious challenge. And if I'm selling a lot of $10 items, that's not really going to be very possible. Pocky and Rocky, it's another one. Great game. Goes back with me. It's how, how the kind of the game I found it, that started me in collecting. Uh, would that <laughs> one be, would that one be an eBay? Uh, yeah, definitely. Is there a cutoff? price-wise to where you would not consider sending something to amazon or is it just more about it, sales it rank increases rarity? the risk right so <clears throat> higher risk of return on amazon or maybe a little bit higher risk of return fraud returning the wrong item it doesn't happen enough for me to stop sending high value items but i am a little bit scared when a 500 hundred dollar item sells on amazon versus when it sells on ebay it's just kind of the reality of business <clears throat> it's a risk you take to get the premiums that you can get on amazon but then I think all of these, I got to check. They're probably all going to go on Amazon. I'm going to look for a rank of 50,000 or less, maybe up to 70,000. I mean, each category on Amazon has a rank, right? So rank one means it sells the fastest. Something like the re most recent Call of Duty game will be rank one. Switch games are usually in top 100, the popular ones. And then a good like GameCube game, like Mario Party 6, that might have a rank of like 15,000, which is still strong. So... Basically, if it's 30000 or less and you price it well, it'll probably sell within a couple days. If it's between 30000 and 50000 it might take like a week or two. 50000 and 70000 it might take a month or two if it's priced right in very good condition. Those are some factors to consider. But yeah, these, these two are definitely going to be good for Amazon. This one, I've got a feeling, might be eBay because I've never heard of it. Dragonology. That's an Atlas game, again. Puyo Puyo Pop. Oh, no, just Puyo Pop. Puyo Pop, yeah. Hmm. That's probably... I, I like Tetris better. <laughs> uh, magical star sign, that's sealed. I didn't realize that, <clears throat> actually. Mm -hmm. Final Fantasy, that'll definitely be Amazon. How much is Pokemon Black 2 up to now? I know it's over 100, but I haven't checked exactly in a while, at least in complete condition. There you have it. So that's some of the strategy. I'll probably pick out a few of these games as attraction pieces for whatnot auctions. Um, still enjoying selling on whatnot. It definitely helps if you have some of those high-dollar, high... Dollar, high demand attraction pieces to get people there and then maybe a little bit on some of the other items that are kind of you know more regular regular rarity but still good demand and we got to get to work i don't think we've done our 15 listings for today yet and it's probably like two o'clock so uh yeah what what can we talk about this one real quick oh yes how do you say that solo to robo solo to robo red the hunter Got this one sealed. I paid up 450 on this one in order to get <laughs> this minty Metal Storm complete in box for the collection for 650. Can we put that on the shelf? Heck yeah, let's do it. We we gotta do that. <clears throat> it belongs. Wait, I actually sold my uh, most of my NES games a couple years ago in order to get the house that we're standing in. So I don't really have a spot for it, but we're, we're gonna put it with its friend, <laughs> Ducktales <laughs> 2, also in great condition. And that is authentic and original. Crazy. I'm so excited to have that one for the collection. But, but yeah. This guy. This guy. Gonna, what, what's, I'm going to uh... send this to VGA. Okay. So it's not perfect, but I think it maybe could still get like a VGA 85, 85 plus on a good day, which would be a gold uh, sticker. sticker or whatever. Silver is 85 or below. Gold is 85 plus or above. That's kind of their scale. It's confusing. I think it would benefit them to change their scale. Maybe out of 10. That's just one man's opinion. But this one I paid 450 for, so I definitely at least want to get it protected. I know a lot of people have their opinions and thoughts on grading games. At minimum, I love having them encapsulated so that I can be at peace when they're sitting in the collection that they're protected. It's like putting a sports card in a top loader or just in a slab to display. Like very, somebody's up here. A very expensive one. <laughs> a very expensive case. Um, and I, I love the way that it looks in displays. So... That's what I'm going to do with that. And the rest of it, hopefully, we'll sell on Amazon and can make the money back quickly. Definitely have a lot of cash to get back. $5,520. I'm going to bring this stack straight over to Alpal for the eBay. That, that'll cover at least a day or two and will help our average sales price. We'll get those listed. I'll finalize them and we're going to keep rolling. But if you're interested in reselling eBay, Amazon, whatnot, otherwise, we have chats. We have 
great resellers in a community over on Discord. I've learned a ton from them. <clears throat> Hopefully they've learned something from, from us. And it's they just, have. <laughs> it's, it's an awesome place to be if you want to put in the work growing your eBay store, especially if you have a side hustle, you want to someday make it a full-time hustle. We'd love to have you. I'd love to chat with you if that's where you're at. So consider joining that Discord. It's 14 bucks a month. You're going to get that back tenfold. You just need to put in a little bit of time, and you're going to love it. We'll see you over there. That's going to be it for this one. Barrel do.